Holy shit, Vegeta's 49. So sorry, Crunch. We were having a conversation about Vegeta. So yeah, apparently Vegeta beat Topo, which is the big mustache dude, if you guys don't know. F fucking fat mustache dude from fucking the Torment of Power. Dude, I fucking love the Pride Troopers. <laughs> I'm certain Disco is a part of Beerus' race. You know what the Pride Troopers are? You know what they are, Zalir? What? They're the bet. The no one wants to admit this, but they're the better version of the Ginyu Force. Don't ever say that about the Ginyu Force. I love the Ginyu Force. I know, but it, it it's too hard to deny it. They're they're literally just the alternative version of the Ginyu Force, but the only difference is they're a lot stronger than the Ginyu it's Force. Not evil. Basically, they're they're like the Ginyu Force from another fucking universe that actually is successful and actually. They're not that flamboyant. Yeah, they're not that flamboyant, but hey, they get the job done. And let's be honest, they're not sexist. Sexist? Well, I mean, the Ginyu's never had a female member. Pride Troopers have like a few um, female members. Um, actually, I'm going to debunk that statement because they had a female member at one point. It's confirmed. What happened to them? You know, in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, there is a girl named Bonyu, and she basically looks like an overweight female version of Jace. Oh, Bonyu! She just, and she's like the strongest Ginyu Force member, right? Well, she used to be a member of the Ginyu Force, but she did not like the posing, so she left. <laughs> she left because of the fucking posing? Poses were stupid. They're like, you guys are, you guys are so dumb. You could be like the most powerful people in the universe and you're just going to fucking pose. Yeah, she thought they were stupid and their poses were stupid. So she left the Ginyu Force. <laughs> she is, um. Imagine if she was in fucking, uh, Planet Nemec. That would be a complete different story, bro. They would no never be able to beat her. She is the same race as Jason Salza and she's got, um. She's got an Australian accent like Jace, too. She's got red skin. She's got white hair. She has the same exact hairdo that Vados has. And she's chunky. BBW, pretty much. Yeah, kind of insane. Sling pod. Here we go. You want to something about Xenoverse? Yeah. There, there is a uh, side quest that you can do where you can become a part of Frieza's army and you have the option of choosing Zarbon or Dodoria to be your superior. And you can also fight the Ginyu Force and they train you. And there is so much dialogue in the Ginyu Force and basically in the Frieza side quest as a whole. Basically, after every match... There is new dialogue from every character. Like, for example, if he just got done beating Zarbon's ass, they're like, oh, wow, you're stronger than Zarbon, and everyone's like that. You're like, oh, shit, you beat Zarbon. Damn, there's no, you're going to be that Goku fuck. And there's also, um, there's also an option where you can join Cooler and betray Frieza. Oh! And if you're a Frieza race character, you can overthrow Frieza and become the new Emperor of the Universe. Holy shit! <laughs> yes, the Ginyu cool. Force belongs to me now, Frieza! <laughs> and uh, you want to know something creepy as hell about uh, the dialogue? There was a bit of dialogue that I saw while I was playing the game. Birder had a line of dialogue that he was saying something along the lines of, the captain gave us new scouters that are that is able to see through clothing. Oh, fuck. That, that's kind of creepy, dude. So, yeah. All the Ginyu Force can see us naked. <laughs> so stupid. Imagine we're a girl character. Oh, that is that's gonna be real awkward real quick. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if it's a male margin. <laughs> you, can imagine, you can imagine them telling Boober this. <laughs> I can imagine 
better telling that to Booger. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you like what you see? Hey, you like what you see? I mean, I, I roll both ways. No, uh, uh, what, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> Jay Lugo, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Zarvon does that. No, no, you what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm your superior. Don't put me into this. <laughs> Frieza, like, what the I fuck's can't. going on over here, you fucking idiots? There's a head cannon. That, um, Hicken and, um, Booger like Zarbon because of his resemblance to Yuzu. <laughs> the worst part is he... <laughs> oh, God, Yuzu. Holy shit, speaking of, if I beat Bowser earlier tonight, you you, you want to do a, do a practice run of that? Oh, yeah, sure. Are you going to record it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We can do as many takes as we if, if, as we want, dude. I'm not gonna force you. Just, you know. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I got one more star in Dreadnought. I probably have like um. I forgot there's if there's a secret star. Don't run away in from Dreadnought. me, motherfucker! A pool is running away from me. A poo. A pool. Oh, a pool! I thought you said a poo, a poo from The Simpsons is a fucking versus boo. Yeah, yeah, I'm fighting a poo in Xenoverse. Oh God, fucking top bitch is back. Oh, wonderful. I did not miss the top guy. This top guy's gonna, I'm gonna kick his ass, dude. Why do they have him twice? Why did Camilla twice? Why do they have Diana Piranha twice? Just make new villains. Fuck, man. They're good bosses. Just make more bosses. Can't be that hard, Nintendo. And I mean, I love Odyssey's wide range of enemies. They're very fucking creative. Like, the cr most creative I've ever fucking seen. Because you go from a robot wiggler, right? You go from a robot wiggler to a giant... Um, temple with like fucking two giant hands. Okay, so I'm fighting the uh, doing, I'm doing the story mode on my new character. I made a character based off of Rico Matoi. Who? Oh, uh, from oh god, and what was I'm it? Playing again? either making her a Saiyan or an Earthling, but I thought it would be pretty weird to see a Super Saiyan Rico, so <laughs> I did, made her Earthling, even though she's not really an earthling in real life. Well, she sort of is. Hey, remember, remember that weird anime from, like, the 80s where it's this princess girl and she has, like, tiger print shit? I don't know. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. If I saw it. Alright, there's an old anime where it's, like, this princess from an alien planet. Um, she was, it, it um, it's, like, from the 80s. They're bringing it back now, and I'm like, okay, what the fuck can you do to this shit? We're gonna have the tropes of, oh my god, you saw me naked! And then the fucking main character being flustered as shit. That's probably gonna be in there, most fucking likely. Uh, I'm, I, I will not be shocked if that's actually in that shit. I, I, I will not even be surprised. Because in Harem's like, there's always that scene where, oh my god, you seen the girl naked. Oh no, boo-hoo. It's like, it's like, bro. I have to kill 15 of Frieza's soldiers. That is quite tedious. 15? Oh, I can just use Ben and Kami on my home, then, and it'll be a lot faster. Thank God. Well, they're not strong. It's just long to kill them all. <laughs> See you later. And yeah, Chaco is dead. helping me. Okay, they're all gone. Yay! Yay, they're all gone. They're dead. I have to fight Frieza now on Earth. Ah, ha, ha, you <laughs> silly, silly monkey. What the fuck did you just call me? Now, now, please! <laughs> I'll catch you on Twitter! <laughs> Not Twitter! My followers, you'll never take them away from me! <laughs> Yeah, 
you know Frieza is based off of what Akira Toriyama thought a monster looked like? Well, hot damn. That definitely is what a monster definitely looks like. Because he was creating a monster for the first time, right? I mean, he, he's created Dragon Quest monsters, but... You gotta think about, like, what, like, the fucking devil of the fucking universe would look like. Like, the... Oh, dear God, I hate this planet. I do. Frieza. Frieza, 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 Frieza. Frieza, Frieza, Can't Still can't believe that's the actual real theme of Frieza. In the real canon series. Just a fucking, like, these guys, like, uh, just saying Frieza, no, I'm fucking stopped with a rock solo. Fucking <laughs> fan project or some shit. Yeah, it must be. I'm like, that's no way that's fucking real. That's not real, dude. And if it is, and they did that for the dub, holy shit, bro, that's fucking dope. Oh, God, top bitch is back. Uh, let me hit you! Fuck! Fucking stupid Incoming top bitches. Cool. Big top bitches with the big top bitches. Ooh. Come here! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh yeah, come here. Come here. No! No! Come here! You fuck it. I hate this fucking... Oh! Now I gotta fight Metacooler, who is for some reason in the Golden Frieza saga. Because why the fuck not? Yeah. Oh, first phase! Done. You know in this game, Super and GT are considered alternate timelines? Yes, they are, because Akira Toriyama realized he fucked up. So and, um... You know, the the Dragon Ball Z's en ending is no longer considered canon? Yeah. You know, you know the one where they're in the tournament and, uh... Pan is participating in everything, and... Well, I mean, they might make a canon again, because Pan's in the new movie. And she looks yeah. exactly like she looks like, um... Well, she looks different. A little bit. Yeah, I, I still think that Dragon Ball Z's ending is no longer canon, because it doesn't add up with the stuff in Super... I want to die. What? What's wrong? 